What's good, YouTube? This is a quick, well, maybe not quick, but a video for the GMC Denali road bike. Uh, just want to get this video out to show some of the upgrades that I have done. Explain the pricing, the costs, what you can do. Before I go any further, I do want to make this disclaimer. If anybody that's watching this video, if you are heavily into road biking, if you're a person that loves the expensive specialized Trek, Cannondale, Giant TCRs, all of those of the like, this video clearly is not for you. I wanted to make this video uh, to kind of explain to some people that choose to upgrade certain bikes that, you know, riders and professionals say that you shouldn't spend time on. I wanted to show some of the things that you actually can do if you take a little bit of time and invest in it. My particular bike, which I'll be showing in a second, it means a great deal to me. It's of sentimental value. So, Everybody that says, oh, you shouldn't upgrade it, you shouldn't change this, you should just get another bike, blah, blah, blah. I understand. That's not a problem. I do have a Trek SL 4300, my mountain bike. So it's not that I won't spend the money on it, but I do like a good challenge. And one of the challenges for me at this stage of the game for me is upgrading a bike that I already had before I decide to go with a lighter bike with all of the components already on it. With all of that being said, everything that you see in front of me uh, are the parts that was on the GMC originally. Uh, the handlebar, the wheels, the tires, the saddle, which is terribly uncomfortable, the kickstand, the seat posts, uh, this front derailleur, is actually not the original one on there. The original one is the Shimano one, uh, and I don't have the rear derailleur. Uh, those two pieces were a part of the first two things that I changed out, and they were terrible. Um, these are actually some Gator Skin tires, just some spare tires that I have, 28C, to go on after the tires that are on there now goes out. So, this is what my GMC Denali Road Bike looks like now. Everything on the bike, with the exception of the brakes and the front fork, those are the only two things that I have left to upgrade and to change out. Everything from the wheels, rear derailleur, chain, rear cassette, front crank set, pedals, seat posts, seat, handlebar, shifters. Tony shifters, Shimano Tony shifters. Hold on, let me adjust that. Uh, these are ev is everything that I've changed out on this bike so far. Much, much lighter than originally. Uh, out the box, this box weighs 30, 30 to 32 pounds. Right now, with the handlebars that was changed out today, this bike comes in at about 20, 21, 22 pounds. So, I mean, it's not nothing light, you know, as a specialized Cannondale, et cetera, et cetera. But it is a lot lighter than originally. Um, I've had this bike for a couple of years now. Uh, I've logged a good amount of miles on it. Um, but I just wanted to show what can be done you know, if you take a little bit of time and invest a little bit of money into some things. Um, so this is what I'm working with. This is the GMC Denali road bike. Not like you've ever seen. Only thing left again, I will be switching out the brakes. I've already ordered some caliber brakes. The uh, Shimano Tiagra, I believe it is the BR4700. Those come in off eBay. They are 52 a piece. I've already ordered them. They are compatible with this. Um, the only issue that I'm having now is finding uh, a headset that goes for this bike to change out this fork. 
This is the only steel component that is left on here. The fork and the stem, the only thing. The handlebar is an HED Grand Tour GTO. Uh, this piece in the middle, your clamp piece right here, that is 31.8 millimeter. I want to go over a few of the specs because you cannot find any information online about the specs for this bike. I understand why, but in case anybody's looking for certain parts that they want to change out, hopefully the specs that I give, you'll be able to find it on Amazon or eBay or any other uh, bike spot online. Uh, that's the HED Grand Tour GTO. It's 31.8 millimeters. The width from outside to outside of the handlebar is 46 centimeters. This bar only cost me 35 bucks. Um, came shipped in a pretty good size box, plain packaging, uh, and it is super light. I think that it weighs in... If I'm not mistaken, it is less than like 220 grams. So it's extremely light. A lot less than this right here. The original handlebar from that bike, everybody know that you got these grip shifters, which I already had one changed out. And they are, it's not the best. But this thing, in case you wondering what it looks like, this is a... Steel handlebar, it's two piece. Cut in the middle, fuse together, those are put on, and then you have these two pieces that go on here, like this. One goes there, will it stay? All right. And the other one goes there. So, you get it. That's where that goes. So, that is the original handlebar, again, this is all steel. These brake levers, that's all steel. So I went from this that I weighed it at the bike shop and it weighs in at just under three pounds. This weighs just under three pounds. This, with my new Shimano uh, Torni 3x7, I think these are the AO73 series, those weigh uh man all together we're looking at this handlebar setup weighs probably just under two pounds if that maybe closer to a pound and a half so we go from this crap to that much better setup handlebar tape i got lucky i found the exact same color orange of the bike handlebar tape was only 20 bucks from ebay Oh, what else do we have? The other thing that I had to change out was the wheels. These are the original stock wheels that come on the bike. Cassette that comes with it. I don't know what brand this is. It is not a Shimano, but it is a 14. The smallest cog is 14, and this is 28. So it actually says it on here now that I look at it. So this is a 14 through 28. These wheels by themselves, they are aluminum, but they do weigh a lot more than my new wheel set, which is on here. These wheels are women wheels. Let's see. I'll try to get this here where you guys can see it at least. Excuse me if it's not focusing. These are Weeman 519, 700 by 28C. The tires are Vittoria Zafiro Pros. These tires are very, very good. Very uh, good on the rolling resistance. I immediately noticed the difference when I put these on from these original tires, 32C tires. I mean, these things weigh a ton compared to what's on there now. So, changed out the rims, the wheel set, and the tires from 32 to 28C. These are a lot better. And I also have the Gator skins, again, that when those go out, at least I already have these all ready to go. What else do we have? I have another video that 
I posted when I first got my Vuelta Corsa crank. These are, uh, the arms are 175 millimeter. I'm a tall guy, so I needed something with a little bit more cranking power. These do the trick perfectly. The pedals that I have on here are Exastar. Uh, what is these? The Exastar PR15. Uh, they are compatible with the SPD cleats, the SPD SL cleats. These came in at 46 bucks. Um, very good finish, very good quality. They're light, they're all aluminum. Again, everything on this bike, with the exception of the headset, the stem, and the front fork, that's the only thing that's steel left. Everything else is aluminum. Uh, the, I actually got the Shimano Tourney front derailleur, which actually adjusted pretty easily. The guy that I had hooked it up, shouts out to Less Ride Bicycles in Hollywood on Sterling Road. They do an excellent job with everything. Uh, I actually ordered this. This was only 14 bucks. That goes with the Shimano Tourney three by seven shifters here. So I got my brakes, I have my gears, could go up, down, it's a lot more, it's way better, a lot more uh, efficient, better than that. I keep my hands on the bars, I'm shifting, not a problem. Uh, what else we have? I changed out the seat post here. That is an origin light comp, uh, that's the origin comp light, rather, alloy seat posts. The diameter that you have to get for this is 27.2. It's 27.2 diameter. Make sure if you're gonna get the new seat post, it's the 27.2 diameter. This one fits a lot better. This seat, this is a Bontrager sport seat. A uh, lot more comfortable than the Vitesse seat that's there. That seat is terrible sucks this seat is so much better i got this from a bike shop this seat was only 20 bucks this seat actually retails for like 120 bucks but it was a return item they had it in there i asked the guy if i could have it he said give him 20 bucks so now it's on my bike super comfortable light it weighs next to nothing it's very comfortable very sturdy uh it's all around good i put the triathlon Profile design, bike holder uh, on the back here. I actually have orange water bottles. So two water bottles go there. I have another one that goes there. That's a perfect setup for me. Uh, everything's out the way. I got plenty of water when I'm riding. Um, the cassette here, this is a Shimano cassette. The Shimano cassette is the CS HG HG CS HG 50 it's the 7 speed hyperglide 7 speed and this upgraded from that again that's the 14 by 28 this one i believe if i'm not mistaken this one is actually 13 by 28 so it is lighter than that Better quality made. This one is a lot better. KMC Zinc chain. This is the Shimano Tourney rear derailleur. I didn't want to go too expensive with parts on here. Um, I just wanted to upgrade it to better components than what was already on here. Brake lines, shift lines are all new. Uh, all I have to do again is just swap in my Shimano Tiagra brakes. Um, the Tiagra BR4700 brakes. Again, they're 52 bucks. I already ordered those on the way. Um, and what else do I have on here? Um, again, I just wanted to do this video to show you guys what you can do with a GMC Denali road bike. I've seen a few videos. It's mainly stock. People have a lot to say about these bikes. It's not all good. And I understand. I get it. But we all don't have thousands of dollars to pour over on road bikes or mountain bikes. We invest in what we want. I understand everybody's situation is different, but 
I decided that I wanted to upgrade this bike and I wanted to ride this bike for a little while. It's giving me no problems. I also replaced the bottom bracket in there. Um, the bottom bracket for that, that's the BN, the BBUN 55. It's a square taper. Uh, the measurements for those is 68 by 122 millimeter. I feel like everybody probably knows that. That is the first thing that you will have a problem with on this bike, more than likely, is that bottom bracket. The original one in there is not packed right. It's terrible components. Doesn't feel good at all. So I replaced mine with the Shimano BBUN 55 and it was only 29 bucks. So it's probably a little bit cheaper now because I got that a couple of years ago. All told, um, with everything on this bike as it sits right now, I have invested just over 600 bucks in this bike. Say what you want. If it's a lot, I don't care. If it's a little bit, if you say that that's cool, hey, great. To each his own. I'm just showing you what can be done if you take 600 bucks and invest it into this bike. I've had absolutely no problems with it. I ride for a lot of miles. I ride long distances. I get in some good sessions in this bike. I have no problems with it. None whatsoever. No problem with steering. No problem with going. I got a good average speed. I got a good high speed on this. Descents. I've rolled down a couple of bridges. Fast speeds. I've took this thing through the ringer and I have had absolutely no problems. I've caught most of these things that I replaced before it was actually time to replace them. So just getting lighter now, I understand and know that, you know, my bike will be even a little bit faster now. So I hope that this video uh, has explained good enough in detail and shown good enough in detail the things that you can do with the GMC Denali road bike. Again, if you're a professional cyclist, if you're a cyclist that has invested thousands of dollars into your bike, I respect you. I appreciate you. One day, that will be me. That day just is not today. For those of us that are trying to get into the sport, I don't want to deter anybody. If you happen to have this bike, it actually is very good looking on the eyes. If you have a bike like this and you wanted to do some upgrades, I just want to show you what you can actually do with it. You can change things out. You can make it lighter. You can make it a little bit more reliable than factory. You know, for the fact the fact that you can buy it at a Walmart, probably between 180 and 200 bucks. I didn't pay that much for it, but that's how much it retails. So if you spend 200 bucks on this bike and over time, this project over time only cost me 600 bucks to do all of this stuff. And I have extra components, extra things. I haven't even shown all the other things that I have, but this bike does me just fine. I could keep up with the Treks, with the Specialized, with the Cannondales, with the Giants. I keep up with all of them. Not a problem. A lot of people got to realize it's not necessarily always about the bike, but more so with the rider. Again, you got any questions, drop them in the comments below. I'll do my best to put the links and the prices or the explanation of everything that I've added to this bike in the description. And I hope that you've enjoyed this video as much as I've liked explaining the GMC Denali road bike. Thanks.